here's ABC's Lisa Salters. Thank you. Joined by Denver Nuggets Chairman Stan Kroenke and Vice Chairman Josh Kroenke, here to present the Larry O'Brien Trophy to the Denver Nuggets NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. Thank you, Lisa, and to the Miami Heat, congratulations, our Eastern Conference champion. What an incredible game we saw tonight. Stan and Josh Kroenke, Calvin Booth, Michael Malone, what a fantastic job you've done. 47 years for the Denver Nuggets. Congratulations. You are the 2023 NBA champions. And now, the Larry O'Brien Trophy. That's all big as a mother. I know that's heavy. Mr. Kroenke, like the commissioner said, the drought, the drought is over. What does this trophy mean to this city? Unbelievable. I, the fans were, the fans in this town are unbelievable, as you can see, Lisa. Unbelievable. And so it means a lot to us to be able to get this done. And the fans, we couldn't have done it without them. So fantastic. Congratulations to coach, the players the whole organization, but you got to love that city. I want to ask you about your superstar. You've recently said that Nikola Jokic is the most amazing thing you've ever seen in basketball. Why do you say that? Well, because I watched Jokic early and come in and work out, and I think he's been described as a chubby teenager, but no one really, uh, they underestimated his resolve and his work ethic is unbelievable player. And so we're just happy to be participating. I mean, I watch a lot of basketball, I played a lot of basketball, but Yoke's an unbelievable, amazing player. We've got a, and we've got a bunch of them. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, coach. Come on over here. You've been, a, Coach Malone, you've been around basketball your entire life. All of the work, all of the sacrifices. The work, all of the sacrifices, how does that trophy make it all worth it? First off, a huge shout out to Nuggets Nation. We love you guys. We love you guys. Best fans in the world. All the hard work, all the sacrifice, all the dedication, all culminated with us winning a championship. But I got news for everybody out there. We're not satisfied with one. We want more. We want more. about Nicola as well because I know he's not going to talk about himself but his historic performance in these playoffs just you talk about him what does it say about your superstar well Nikola Jokic is a great person he's a great husband father and son and brother and on the basketball court he's proven time and time again that he's the best player in the NBA he's our MVP we love him and we're thankful that he's wearing a Nuggets uniform Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Now let's bring back Commissioner Silver to present the 2023 Bill Russell NBA Finals Most Valuable Player Award. This is the first Finals MVP trophy that we're giving out since Bill Russell's passing. And he'd be incredibly pleased. It's another center. This year's Bill Russell Finals MVP goes to Nikola Jokic. for yourself, being an all-star, a two-time MVP, and now a finals 
MVP, but what does it mean to you to now just, just to be a champion, to be able to celebrate with your family? You know, AG said really one really good thing. We are, we are not winning for ourselves, we are winning for, the, for the, the guy next to us. And that's why this is, more, is even more, because uh, I was winning for Jamal, Jamal was winning for AG, and that's how it goes, you know. And uh, this is a great group of people, a great group of teammates. Uh, like I said, in, uh, from, the, from the family Kroenke to the Sparky and Gene, everything, every, everything this, uh, this year was amazing. What are you most proud of about this team? You know, we, we believe in each other, the relationship that we had. Uh, yes, trophies and something, but I think we had some relationship that was going to be uh, long, long, uh, like even, even after me fi finish careers. Thank you, Nicola. Congratulations. I'm going to talk to your teammate, Jamal. Jamal, just two years ago this time, you were barely able to walk, but you vowed to come back. You vowed to come back even better than you were before. Can you describe to me what this, this championship journey has been like for you? It's just an amazing feeling, you know, I uh, blood, sweat, and tears to get back to this point. Um, everybody, my, my team in here, everybody on the floor, believe in me, believe in me to get back to myself, and uh, I know we proved a lot of doubt is wrong, and I mean, look at this. Was it worth the wait? Oh, yeah. I mean, I learned a lot by myself, just being up for two postseasons, um, just grinding, you know, having so many things going through my head. Watch my team, you know, go through the ups and downs, and uh, just to see us healthy, know what we can do. We had the belief from the get-go. You guys had the belief from the get-go. It's full circle, so it's just great to see it through. My dad right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, Pops. Pops. Yeah, Pops. He helped me. He believed from the start. He got me to where I am today, and uh, it's just a blessing. You know, it's not me. It's, it's God willing, so I appreciate him giving me the strength. Thank you, Jamal. Thank you. I want to talk to one more. Michael. It was an up and down series. What makes this championship so special? You gave everything tonight. What makes this championship so special? To do it with these group of guys, um, it's nothing like it. You know, this organization believed in me. Um, and just to the five long, hard years, you know, to finally do it with this group of guys, nothing could feel better than this. Can you describe what this series was like for you? Coach Galone said it. He said, we're going to need Michael Porter Jr. to win this championship. What did, knowing that you had that belief and that confidence, what did that mean to you? It's my teammates. You know, I was struggling all series, but these dudes, they never let me get down on myself. They keep me confident. And that's what we do with each other. We're a team. We're all happy for each other. And I can't say enough about these teammates. They're the best teammates I ever had. Congratulations, you're a champion. And, and congratulations once again to the 2023 NBA champion, Denver Nuggets, and finals MVP, Nikola Jokic. Congratulations, gentlemen. Mike, back to you. Thank you, Lisa. Well, with apologies to the Miami Heat, when, when you see these emotions, when you see these bonds, when you hear these fans, this is why we love sports. What a magnificent scene for this city, for this organization, the coaching staff, and the players. Never get tired of seeing this, Mark. No, it's incredible. The stories all throughout the lineup. The leadership of Michael Malone, the leadership of Calvin Booth, a former player, general manager, shot caller for the Denver Nuggets, putting the finishing pieces to this team. An incredible job across the board. And Jeff, you look, they were 16 and 4 in these playoffs, 10 and 1 in their last 11 games. I mean, just, it was an amazing, extraordinary run. Oh, they, they were dominant in the playoffs. They won at a higher rate in the playoffs than they did in the regular season.
which is unheard of. Their dominance showed through. And this was a hard-fought game, but they found a way playing through Jokic and Murray in that fourth quarter to finish it off. It's a franchise with great history. So many wonderful players, some, so many terrific teams, both in their ABA and NBA history. You look at David Thompson, Dan Issel, Bobby Jones, Alex English, Fat Lever, Dikembe Mutombo, Carmelo Anthony, all great stars that played in this city that never won a championship. But this team finally puts them over the top. On top of the Rocky Mountains, on top of the NBA Mountains. And in their 47th year, they're champions. They can't get enough of that adorable girl with her dad. They'll be celebrating long into the night and a number of days afterwards. More coverage coming up on this unbelievable scene in Denver. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.